Welcome back to Paper Mario, everybody! Color 40 is the name, and Paper is my game. So, today we have to return to Toad Town. And I think I'll take Umbari. Oh man, oh boy, this will be fun. Okay, as I was saying, I was going to have Goombario out because we don't have bob anymore. Of course, I'd switch to Koopa in the battle to get rid of the spiky Koopas, the Goombas. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, didn't mention in the last video, but now we've got the Star Spirits icon, which allows us to use this. So, see that little star me uh, bar right underneath our HP at the top? That's our star meter. It's flashing now under refresh. So, we've got Refresh, recovers HP and FP by 5, also cures Poisoning and Shrink. Pretty good at the beginning of the game, kind of terrible at the end of the game. Also, Focus, which, because this takes Star Energy, Focus will refill it. You will automatically get Star Energy, like, gradually throughout battles, like, for doing successful action commands or just over slowly over time. But Focus is the fastest way to replenish it quickly, but we're not going to be concerned with that. In the meantime... I've got to use Power Shell again, again because I want to keep my HP up. Also, we're getting to the point where the enemies really are hardly giving me any star points at all. Spiky Goombas only give me one. Koopas only give me one as well. So probably after next level up, these enemies just won't give me level, uh, star points at all. And wow, I don't think I've ever found a Koopa Leaf outside of Koopa Village before. Now watch, it's gonna be all Paracoopas. Sure enough! Yay, FP! I love FP. Especially when I'm low on it. Oh, well, this will demonstrate. Do not jump on Spiky Goomba's faces. And you know what? I'll show off Refresh now since I'm low on getting fairly low on HP and FP. And by that I mean I've lost 3 HP and 4 FP. Yeah, and now my star meter's empty. Power shell time. Power shell is very useful. I just wish it only took two FP instead of three. Because if you didn't uh, level up FP at all, you can only use it once. You know what? Forget you. Do -do 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 -do. Oh boy, money, money, money. Love money. Oh yeah, go down here. And you can use Cooper to get a start piece. <laughs> I didn't know you could move while you were doing that. One, that's it. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Man, I forgot it. Cooper is actually a pretty good partner. At least at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Hi. Well, my recording says it's been going for like seven minutes now, but it's actually after cutting out all these battles, probably only like two minutes. <laughs> Alright, get out Goombario now. Because- HOLD IT RIGHT THERE, MARIO! I'VE BEEN WAITING FOR YOU! I TOLD YOU I'D BE BACK, NOW I'LL GET MY REVENGE! HERE IT COMES, BABY! CHECK THIS OUT! DWAAA! <laughs> Great revenge. Mario, I'm talking to you! I promise you this fight will be much different from before! Hey, you're Junior Troopa! Are you following us? You need to mellow out! SHUT UP! You, Mario, of course you remember me! No, not really. WHAT?! Darn it, you don't remember me! Listen, you, you big lug! My name is Junior Troopa, remember it, and TREMBLE! After this beating, you'll definitely remember it. <laughs> I love ticking him off. Get ready to hurt, Mario! I'm gonna show you a new skill I just picked up! 
Yeah, check that out! You've never seen anything like it before, have you? Your attacks are useless now! Well, not really. I should show off Smash Charge. Mario's attack power increased by two. Only takes one FP as well. Oh, we can tattle on him now. What was his name? Junior Troopa? I don't remember exactly. Just kidding, kid! Max HP 15, attack power 2, defense power 1. He looks so adorable hiding in his egg, doesn't he? So cute. It should be a snap to beat him now, I think. He's not that much tougher than before. So now that my hammer's charged... He does free damage. Youch! Who knew Mario had such battle skills? Grr, it's not over yet, though. Yeah! I think Bombat will be very helpful for this. And my jump at this point is more powerful, so... Yeah, I do like the Junior Troopa fights. You fight him multiple times throughout the game. A regular hammer attack only deals one damage. Goodbye, Junior Troopa. <laughs> do do do. 20 star points, and we beat him up. Ah! 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 <laughs> yeah, you can torment him for a bit. Mario! You know that theme. Mario, Mario, it's me, Twink. Remember me? Of course. I heard you saved the Honorable Star Spirit who was captured by the Koopa Bros. Bowser and his gang are so angry about it. I knew you could do it, Mario. You're on your way. Mario's like, oh, please. But enough celebration for you. I came bearing important information for you. It seems that one of the Star Spirits is being held captive somewhere in Dry Dry Desert. Bowser wrote it in his diary, some place called Dry Dry Ruins. The princess braved the dangers of the castle to get you this clue, Mario. If we find out anything else, I'll hurry back and tell you. I have to go back to her highness now. She's so brave. I hope this news helps. Alright, so before going any farther, we're going to take a nap. Yeah, I slept well. Ooh, let's go to the post office. Ah, uh, yes, Mario. Yes, hello. Well, seems you have some received some mail. Which letter would you like to read? Cooper? From Colorado's wife. Really? Interesting. Here you go. Cooper, how are you doing? Your mother dropped by for a visit the other day. We had a really nice talk over some Koopa tea. She did seem to a touch disappointed that you were still on the road. He left, like, two episodes ago. She said that she's going to cook a delicious dinner when you come home, so you have something to look forward to. Oh yes, if you happen to see my wayward husband, please tell him to come home more often. Take care, Colorado's wife. Well, that was nice of her. Also, I'm going back to Mario's house. We can get some cool stuff there. Hey, bro! I'm dating a Baba! Did you know that? Hi, Mario. I figure I'll have an adventure sooner or later, so I'm training. What's that? Dry, dry desert? Oh, sure. There's a train that goes there from Toad Town. Hey, maybe I'll tag along. Please do. No? You sure? Just give me a chance. That's kind of mean, Mario. Luigi's great. Hi, Mario. Oh, maybe he just says the same thing. All right. Yeah, now it's showing more. Oh man, only nine star pieces? I gotta up my game. Little T. T 
Dear Mario, how do you do? I'm Little T. I'm just a little toad. I live in Toad Town. I've been training at the dojo so I can save Princess Peach. I'll write you again later. Bye. Vanity. <laughs> Hello, Mario. I'm Vanity, Chuck Gizmo's lovely assistant. I know it's Chuck Quizmo, but I've called him Chuck Gizmo my whole life, and that sounds like a cooler name anyway, so sorry. Thanks for participating in our quiz show. Our ratings are through the roof. Are those star pieces helping you? Please keep coming back until you answer that last question. I'll cheer you on. Vanity. Vanna. T. Kind of like Vanna White, as well as Vanity, so that's cool. You rat, Mario! How dare you embarrass us! I'll never forget what you did! Red. Hey, watch your back when you walk at night! Black. I'm gonna make you cry! Green. You better sweep one eye open, pal! Yellow. We shall return! The Koopa Bros. Yeah, sure you will. Please, I hope you do. At least Luigi- actually, Luigi probably did read my personal mail since he brought it in. And honestly, after the way Mario's been treating him, he kinda deserved it. Okay. What have I got in my arsenal? I think that's all the items I can carry. Yeah, it is. Alright. You know what? I am going to eat a Koopa Leaf. Oh, shoot. I should've just stored that at the store. Whoops. Well, I want to buy a fire flower. Also, the dojo's open now. You you would notice the last time we were here, there were two guys blocking this area. Well, now they're in here. When fighting, you must try many tactics. A good fighter does not just use the same simple attack each time. Each enemy has its own character and weak points. Sometimes you use your body, sometimes you use your items, but always, always you must use your mind. Sometimes you will be surprised by what it's effective. Oh, uh, the... I wanted to talk to him. A wise fighter knows that sometimes the best tactic is not to fight at all. There is no cowardice in choosing to run away from a superior foe. Of course, you will find some enemies that are impossible to escape once in battle. Face them with bravery. <coughs> ah, Mario, welcome to our dojo. For what purpose did you come here today? To try. Very well, then Chan would fight you. Now, Chan, it is you. time for you to fight Mario. I'm sorry for skipping that, I thought he would say the same thing. Basically, he's the master, this is the dojo, you train to fight here, you don't actually get star points. As you say, master! I forgot. Mario, here comes Chan the man! Alright. He'll be easy. Make sure you tattle on him. Ow, how dishonorable. This is Chan of the dojo. He's training under the master and is happy to fight us. Max HP 15, attack power 2, defense power 2. Hammer attacks won't work well, but you can turn him over with a jump attack. Once he's flipped over, he's easy. No mercy, Mario. I wasn't going to give him any. Yeah, he's kind of insultingly easy. He just takes some time, but really, he's a, he's a singe. <laughs> so, how are you guys doing today? <laughs> Seriously, this is... This feels a bit unfair. Because it's two on one, so... Even then, I would still beat him, just... It'll be slow. Sorry, Chan. <laughs> I do feel bad. Yeah, so no star points for that. Enough! The winner is Mario. Chan, you must train harder. Very well, I give you this, Mario. You got the first degree card, proof of Mario's strength won by defeating Chan at the dojo. You are welcome to train here with us anytime. <coughs> That's Chan. He's one of the trainee who seems to always be at the dojo. He worships the master. 
I mean, it's all well and good for Chen to admire the master, but I prefer Mario. Well, thank you. Thank you for sucking up. He's one of the trainees who's always at the dojo. His name is Lee. He's like an older brother to Chan. Lee respects the master above all else and hangs out on every word he says. Oh my gosh. I just now realized that's a ponytail on Chan's back. I thought that was a chain and I thought it was like Lee was walking him around. Oh. Uh. He's the master of the dojo. He's been training students at the dojo for years. My grandpa told me he's incredibly strong. He doesn't look like it, though. I think he just got back from a long journey where he trained with fighters stronger than he is. What dedication. Yeah, the master actually is quite strong. You fight him. He's a bonus boss. It's the Toad Sisters. I heard that free ma the, ma the free maid girls of Princess Peach's castle are going on a trip. I guess they don't have work, but really, the princess was kidnapped and times are bad. What on earth are those maids thinking? Yeah, I agree with you. Going on a trip during a situation like this? Have they lost it? Totally, girls. I, Felicity, agree. I think they should think especially hard about which souvenirs to buy. Okay, then. <clears throat> Alright, let's get to the exciting part. Oh, actually, I want to trade star pieces. Hey, Merlo, what's up? Yeah, I want to swap. Wish you could see my face right now. God, that never happened. Well, you remember last time when we tried going to South Toad Town, there were all those, like, sticks in the way? They've cleared them up by now. But, before going there... Hey, mister! My dad's opened his shop. Don't you want to take a look? It's really cool. It's a badge shop. For badges. Come on, check it out. Heck yes. Heck yes. <gasps> yes! We have lots of rare badges, so take a very close look. Speedy Spin! Uh-huh, I knew it, Mario. I knew you had a keen eye for badges. That's a good one. You need 50 coins for speedy spin. The BP you need in order to use that badge is one. Wanna buy it? Yes, I do. Thanks. I change my stock of badges now and then, so please check back occasionally. The speedy spin? That lets you spin faster, if you didn't know. So now... Yeah. Now we've also got defense down pound. Disables the enemy's defense power and injures it. Then multi-bounce jumps on all enemies in a row if the action command is timed right. Ah, I'm two coins short of getting both of them. Well, out of these two, I'll probably get the D down pound just because multi-bounce is not that great, especially for the next world. I'm not going to equip it, though. Oh, look how fast I'm spinning! Yeah, now we can go down here. So, in here. It's tasty. She's tasty, by far the greatest cook around. Trust me, my mom is a really great cook, but even she admits that she could learn a fiend or two from Tasty. Tasty will cook for you if you take ingredients to her. Come on, let's ask her. Yes. Oh my goodness, it's Mario. My name is Tasty. I love to cook. If you bring me ingredients, I'd be happy to fix you one of my energy giving dishes. Would you like me to cook you something? So, this is one of the really cool things I like about Paper Mario are the recipes. So, in this, there are 50 recipes out there that give you really good items if you can get them. Which ingredient would you like me to use? So, we're going to start just by cooking a mushroom. This is the simplest dish. Then, I, shall I cook with a mushroom? Yes. Tra la 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 la. Here you are. This recipe's not too bad. Here, please. You get the fried shroom. Snack made by Taste Tea. Restores 6 HP and 2 FP. So that's a bit better than a mushroom. Come back anytime, hon. I look forward to it. But I've got some other ingredients to use. So, I'm going to cook a kuba leaf. I'll whip up something special for you, honey. It'll be fabulous. Just a moment. tra -la 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 -la. That's what my sister always did. Here you are, this recipe's not too bad. Yeah, and we get the Koopa Tea! We mentioned this in the letter, didn't we? 7 FP. And now, let's see... Oh, Goom Nut. Yeah, 
this recipe is not too bad. And we get the nutty cake. Nut cake baked by his taste tea restores 10 FP. Now we'll cook honey syrup. Yes, we're cooking honey syrup. And we get the super soda. It's exactly like the honey syrup, except it also cures poisoning and shrinking, which can come in handy in the next world. Alright, just one last recipe. Cooking a fire flower. It cooks itself! <laughs> but yeah, I'm a sucker for cooking. We get the spicy soup. Hot soup cooked by Taste Tea restores 4 HP and 4 FP. So the recipes aren't that great now, but the, some recipes are really good, and they're way better than the items you can just get normally. Also... Puff! Well, hello there! My name is Bubbolb. I come from flower fields, the wonderful land of flowers. I'd love to spread the wondrous flowers of flower fields all over your land. You like flowers, don't you? Of course you do! Who doesn't? For that reason, I'll entrust this seed to your care. And we get the magical seed. Have it planted in the flower garden in Toad Town. That's a flower seed. If it's well cared for, a beautiful flower will bloom. These flowers are delicate. Only one with a loving heart can make them bloom in beauty. Please take good care of it, for beauty is fragile. Well, Minty said give any seeds we get to her, so that's what I'm gonna do. Here you go, Minty. Oh, you'll give me the seed? Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'll plant it right away. <laughs> She's so happy. I love it. So if we go this way, this leads to a forest, but we can't actually go very far in there. But I think there's a stair? Nope. Beyond here lies dark and gloomy forever forest. You'll get lost for sure, so I'd advise you not to enter. I won't. But now we still have to go to this part of Toad Town, you know? Okay, so seriously. Please answer me this. Is this, like... An alien, an obesely fat, like, bird of some kind, or a guy eating something out of a paper bag? You decide. Yo, little man, name's Cheat Rippo. Pleasure meeting you. Say, man, don't you want to upgrade your status? <laughs> yeah, I know you do. It's usually 390 coins, but for you and only you, I'll do it for just 39 coins. If you give me 39 coins, I'll upgrade your HP, FP, or BP. I'm not lying or cheating you. Come on, you know you want it. So, as tempting as that is, don't do it, because while he will upgrade whichever one you want, he'll also downgrade your other two that you don't choose. So, don't do that. Don't take the easy way out. And we've had another shop here with much weirder items, like the Stone Cap, which turns Mario to stone and makes him unable to move for a while, but that also makes him invincible, so you can just have your partner attack while Mario tanks everything. Thunder Rage, remember the Thunderbolt we got? Well, it's like that, except it damages all enemies 5. Tasty Tonics, which just cure poisoning or shrinking. Then we've also got Volt Shrooms and Super Shrooms. I always thought that Toad was like, had an open mouth, but no, that's his mustache. I'm just kind of... Ooh, exquisite house. Hey, you're Mario, right? We just moved in! We've only just unpacked! It's like a dream come true, a quiet and gorgeous home all to ourselves. Ah, I'm so happy. Of course, happy as I am, I know these are sad times. I try not to act too jolly when I'm out and about. Probably good. Oh, what do you say? Hi, I'm new to the neighborhood. I never expected it to be so nice and quiet in the big city. It's cost me a small fortune in coins to get this place, but I think it was worth it. Such a lovely house, isn't it? It sure is. Where's the bed? In the bathroom. These are kind of necessities, you know. So this is an interesting house, because there's nothing in here. Now we're at the dock. Oh, oh, I didn't even know we could appear here. Kawiz! It's everyone's favorite course master, Chuck Quizmo! Question. What is the color of the block you can break with the first hammer you got? It's yellow. That's correct! 
So weird to not have background music. Thank you, Chuck Gizmo. Tis true, big fish I be getting when I fish here. Your I hear caterpillars be making the best bait. You fuzzy pig, you're me bait. Just cause you're all fishing and I gotta be bait? Nuh-uh. You're a plum fool. I may be a caterpillar, but I still got me some rats. He's supposed to be a caterpillar? He looks like a fuzzy. Yeah. Ooh, Club 64. Mm, hi, I'm Chantelle, known around here as Pop Diva of Toad Town. Uh, I used to be able to sing any song perfectly, each note a masterpiece. Those times are behind me now, perhaps forever. The sight of Peach's castle flying high into the sky was such a shock, I haven't been able to sing since. And now, now I am a Pop Dinova who cannot sing. Cruel irony, isn't it? I'm Simon, I'm rhyming to the folks who know it, I'm the master poet. Poor Pop Diva cannot sing, but my lyrics are just the theme. My lyrics really rock, or Pop Diva will be cured of shock. I'm tragically stuck, though, because my last line's a no-show. Later, Plumminator. I never realized he rhymed everything before now. Welcome to Club 64! How do you like the club, dude? Pretty posh, right? Yeah, my buddy there and I opened up last year. This club was broken here and there in that earthquake, but no problem, we'll get it all fixed up in no time. Yep, we lost a whole mess of glasses around here when the earthquake hit. Been cleaning ever since. It's a shame. Lots of fond memories in those glasses. Yeah, weird place. But kind of cool at the same time. Forgive me for not talking to every single toad on the harbor, but I figure we could, we'll we be back here so we can kind of divide that up. No need to make it a whole video where she's like, Here's Color Farty talking to everybody. Yay. No. Cool, now I've got enough money to buy the um, multi-bounce badge. Look how much faster we are with Speedy Spin. Even if it takes an extra BP slot, it's totally worth it. Unless you're really desperate to get an extra BP. Oh! There's also the first attack badge, lets Mario destroy a weaker enemy with a first strike. That's also a great badge, but I'm just gonna buy multi-bounce. That lets you jump on every enemy. At the cost of some FP, but at this point I only deal one damage per jump, so I'll only damage one damage to all enemies. Best case scenario. Also, even though it's the train station's south, I'm going into the private tube. So this is the Toad Town Tunnels, aka the sewers. There's not a whole lot we can do here, but we can go this way. And yes, these are indeed blue Goombas. Or to be more appropriate, Gloombas. This is a Goomba. Goombas are nasty Goombas who live in the Toad Town Tunnels. Max HP 7, attack power 2, defense power 0. They're stronger than ordinary Goombas, but you can take them. Hopefully. Normal Goombas are as powerful as regular spiky Goombas. Ooh, we get quite a bit of star points for beating them. Technically, we're not supposed to be going here until after the second world, but we can get a badge here if we go early, as well as some good star points. Goodbye, goodbye, little cookie. Ooh, maybe I can get a 1-up before the end of this tunnel. That would be nice. Super Shroom? I'm not throwing that away. Oh, come on! It had to go up there, really. 
That's baloney. Oh boy. This is not good. This is a spike to Kaboomba. There's spike Kaboombas who live in the Toad Town Tunnel. Max HP 7, attack power 3, blah blah blah. Spike hurts more than usual. Man, they hurt a lot! Oh, whoa! Bombat deals five damage with Bomb. So it doesn't actually pierce defense, it just deals a ton of damage. You go, Bombat! Ooh, so close! That will come in handy. I hope I can beat this. Blooper! Yep. We get to fight a blooper. And... Might as well use Power Bounce. This is a blooper. Bloopers lurk in the dank pools of Toad Town Tunnels. Max HP 30, attack power 3, defense power 0. They seem pretty unremarkable. Although, you have to wonder how they float in the air like that. Very true. Or why they have masks. So I'm going to use Refresh now. Hopefully I'll be able to use it again before the end of the battle. Maybe not. And since Cooper and Bombette are going to be terrible in this fight, they can't even hit him. Kubario's going to be my main man. Darn it, that was bad. The window for doing an additional jump with Power Bounce gets smaller every time you do it. I'm getting lucky with these defends. I'm not normally that great at defending against Blooper. But I should be good. I've got some emergency stock items. Man, he's only doing the Ink Squirt move. Alright. Oh yeah, here's his other move. Same damage, but a little easier to defend against. Alright, goodbye, Blooper. So Blooper's kind of tough to deal at this point in the game, but Blooper also gives you a lot more experience now than he would later on. So yay for that. Alright, FP or BP? We're about to get some great badges in the next area, but I also have several badges I could unequip, so I think I'm going to go with FP. I've been eating through that quickly. We're also going to need FP in the next world. A lot. And we get the- oh, I skipped right past that. We get the Shrink Stomp badge. Let's you do a Shrink Stomp, uses 2 FP. If it works, the enemy Mario stomps on Shrinks and takes damage. So Shrinking decreases the enemy's attack power by half for a bit. That can also happen to you. So it's important to know that. And, you know... We did have that, like, seven minute span where I just was fighting enemies, so I'll always go to the train station. <laughs> I love little oinks. Love them. You, you want to learn about them? Sure. Little oinks are timid and mysterious creatures that hatch from eggs. That's weird. They spook easily and will run away if you approach them. Observe them from out there. There are many good breeds of little oinks. They're very easy to tell apart. White ones, black ones, even gold and silver ones. If you're curious about the breed of new little, newborn little oink, come over here and talk to me. I wish the world were full of little oinks. That would be grand. So this is a weird game. Basically, over here, you can pay 10 coins to get a little oink. And this pen holds 10 of them? If you put an 11th one in an already full pen, the, f the first one that entered will run away and leave an item behind. 
And you can pick up that item if you want, but that'll make all of the little oinks disappear. So that's essentially, best case scenario, 110 coins for an item. Most of the time, little oinks will drop kind of lame items like mushrooms or stuff like that, but there are free items that you cannot get any other way except from little oinks. Like, there's a finite amount of them that you'll just get naturally through the course of the game, but if you want an infinite amount, the only way to get those is from little oinks. We can't work because Peach's castle flew away. Oh well, guess there's nothing to be done. The girls and I always wanted to go on a long trip. How lucky for us. At first I said let's not go because there's so much trouble going on, but eventually I came around. We're ready to roll, but the train can't move. Great. Our first stop is going to be the desert town. I wish we could go right now. Never fear, ladies. I'll save you. I love trains, don't you? I love to come here and watch it come and go, but it doesn't seem to move at all now. It's really a lot more fun to watch when it's moving. The problem must be that gigantic rock on the tracks. I'm ruined! Done for! A huge rock is blocking the train tracks! When Peach's castle was uprooted, one of the boulders from the stack rolled off and landed here. What bad luck! Yeah, how horribly inconvenient for the pacing of the game. If we can't do something about this bad boulder, I can't make my run to Mount Rugged! There you go, Bombette. Oh, thank you, Mario! The train's back on track! Thank Bombette! She's the one who blew herself up to get that. All aboard! This train's bound for Mount Rugged! Are you coming, Mario? Heck yeah. A place called Mount Rugged? That's me! This train is about to depart. Let's board quickly. It's only There's only room for one person, Mario. Bombette will have to sit in the back. Sit tight, folks! Now departing for Mount Rugged! All aboard! Alright! Homeward bound for the second area. I mean, I guess at that point we're not homeward bound. And we didn't even need to use the dizzy dial on the blooper. blooper. I like the way the worlds are laid out in this, where most of the worlds you can reach without a warp pipe, but then eventually later on in the game you'll get warp pipe shortcuts through those worlds. Chapter 2, The Mysterious of Dry Dry Ruins. Sneak peek ahead at the boss. Also, the world 2 is amazing music. I know I say that about, like, everything, but I love this song so much. Mount Rugged! Mount Rugged! Passengers heading for Dry Dry Desert or Dry Dry Outpost should proceed directly over Mount Rugged from this station. That's where we're gonna leave it. Thank you for watching, I'm Color Flarty. tune in for the next episode, we will be exploring Mount Rugged and hopefully make it to Dry Dry Desert. Have a great day, and God bless.